Yes. Keep going, Dammy. This is a hard drill to do, but keep going. Now, the reason we're doing this is two things. Number one, it helps you to use those elbows to press outwards, because you got to keep those blades, the oar lock, and the button locked into the oar lock, okay? Number two, if you really start to relax, Dammy, the blade's just going to fall in the water by itself, okay? So as you come up the slide, just relax, and that blade's going to just fall in there by itself, just by gravity, so you can save your energy. All right, that's good. I am Ibrahim Anafiko, popularly known as Demi, a first year master's candidate at American University in the audio technology program. I am originally from Nigeria, born of Yoruba descent. I've been in the States now for about nine years and I've been blind for about eight years. field of audio production and I am aspiring or striving to be an imaging producer for a radio station and basically be an audio producer on a larger scale because I still want to do sound for movies and TV and on that note I am who I am blind magic you know still living I'm so delicate, but I'm not. Not every blind person does it and do the things that I do, but it's just me. I, I'm that rugged. You're not, you're not helpless, right? That's what you're saying. On that, in, on one hand, oh, what I'm actually saying is, no, you see some people and you're like, oh, oh, he can't use his stairs. No, I use his stairs, don't come on me. I, I grew up in a, in a three-story building. So it is ingrained in my system. I lived in a three-story building for 12, 13 years. The Mecca. Mecca. I know, no, why did I touch it? I don't want that thing to happen. Thank God. to the sound of the Mecca, right? Ah, I do it almost every day, whenever I have time. Yeah. And I'm having time tonight. How do you edit? Computer. I mean, we're editing something earlier, before, before. This is what I use. Back in Nigeria, back when I was growing up in that building, water doesn't run upstairs. We have to go fetch water downstairs, and you have to carry the water upstairs. Were you, were you blind at that time? I could see. Oh, yeah. I don't have a good vision, but I could see. Me, I had cataract, I had nearsightedness, but I still see through all of that. I still struggle, man. I've always been a fighter. I've always been a fighter, man, because through my elementary school people always want to do stuff for me and I'm like no you can't do it for me I'm gonna do it myself this is why I'm here so this is someone's voice we I just cut it and R&B you know it it's the sound of the Mecca WHBC 96.3 HG3 I'm still gonna work on it as it is a little longer? So like how will you cut? Oh, this is different. There is gonna be a music we got here. And I have to cut this. If, I'm, if I start, I would, I would do this. We got hip hop. So where she said we got hip hop, I will look for a generic hip hop song. I will put it where she, why she saying hip hop, the word will come there. 
then when she said R and B, I'll put an, a little bit of R and B music. Okay, this is an example of it. So that is how that will come out. I, I, I love it. I love the fact that I, I'm doing this. It's, it, it's, it's art on its own. For real, yeah. Honestly, it's, it's making something more, from nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's more like a canvas now. I'm a hustler, hustler yeah. to the core, no doubt. I'm, I'm so different from, I mean, I, I'm not a citizen. That's number one, and I'm not a permanent resident either. Everything that come out of pocket. So hustler in every way, I have a job, I have a volunteer work, I have this that I'm into, into that I'm into and involved in. So sometimes when people don't, don't know, they think, oh, you're getting help from left, right, and center. And I'm like, whatever, man. I don't, I don't have a chance to talk. When it comes to letting other people know, it's, I think it's just having the little things that you know will help you. The things that you want are moving on from there. A lot of people, are, maybe they want to have more than they actually need. And they don't. They don't get to do anything else because they're waiting for this and that to happen. They're waiting for everything to be perfect, but nothing will ever be perfect. They will only be right. It will only be right that you jump out there and do something with what you have in the moment. Because life itself is damn unfair. Life is not fair. And whatever life gives you, you've got to make the most of it to the fullest. That's one thing I've, uh, I've understood. And I'm just trying not to not to lose what, what I've been able to, to, to maybe to acquire or the level that I've come. I'm just trying to and take it higher from there, because this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. It's really just the beginning. Things are happening for me, and uh, I thank God with the way things have been so far. And I'm just. I'm trying to just keep on. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to take it farther and just do greater things, you know. Oh, there.